Hello everybody, my name is Lorena and I own Digital Art Mundo on Etsy. So I'm gonna start blogging now about my daily life here in the studio and how I run my business. So I figured I should introduce myself so that you guys get to know me better. <laughs> so of course I'm the owner of the store. I work on my own pretty much. Well, my husband helps me a lot. So I gotta give him props for that. And my baby, he just, you know, helps the way he can. He's a toddler, so. <laughs> but I have been a business owner for a while. I I own Shop Travel Mundo on also on Etsy. And there I sell like made boxes, like handmade boxes, which are like just boxes that contain different things from my travels like I used to live in Korea so I used to make boxes with Korean products and things like that and it would be like a different box every month kind of things it wasn't subscription based but it was just things that I would do now I'm doing boxes here from Japan and just have different Japanese items a lot of anime stuff so Ghibli things stuff like that but now I decided to start this digital art mundo store and sell more of my art um, and also other art and stuff like that because I just I have a passion for art but I never really like you know got into it you know it's just so hard sometimes to get into drawing and having the time finding the time to do it so I'm getting more into it every time adding more items slowly but surely and um, really digging into different things making stickers um trying to you know do shirts mugs things like that uh glass cups so and i'm also trying to do some market fairs out here in japan because we are affiliated with the military we have the base and they do a lot of market days so um, they have a lot of vendors and now I signed up for that so I'm gonna be doing that and I will be blogging that too as much as I can of course you know you gotta be respectful to the military we can't show up much but I can show inside my booth <laughs> so anyways that was just the introduction for me uh, if you guys have any questions please let me know I usually just kind of voice over and let you guys show you my studio and things like that but I will also come on here and you know just kind of talk <laughs> so just let me know if you have any questions. I am here in my little office. So, this rooms are so dark. Mainly because I have all of the windows closed. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much my studio, office, storage room for all my products. <laughs> pretty much. So I have this like lights for taking product pictures and stuff like that. So I turned those on. Um, this is just extra stuff I gotta move out of here. And this room came with a bathroom, so that's actually not bad. So I just kind of want to lock myself in here. <laughs> but this is me usually. It's pretty kind of bad out there. Don't mind this stuff they're doing work on my building they're like I don't know just taking all the old paint outside and repainting and replastering whatever they're doing but this is me I also have a small light here and a fan if I can turn it on there it is and I do not need a fan because it's cold But yes, this is kind of like an older building that we're renting right now here in Japan. It's not bad. And usually this window has some kind of stained glass on it. Which is good because I don't want any light back here. But this is the other side. We usually just have a view of the street so I really don't care that the curtains are closed tell you the truth but this is the main reason why all these curtains are closed is because this UV printer should not be in a bright you know place with this a lot of Sun so just keep it here 
nice and tucked over here in this corner window shade of course and this place over here close to it's gonna be a nice little balcony they finally finish this I'm gonna have some plants maybe a chair out here when they're done it's gonna be nice but well this is all my Starbucks collection I collect Starbucks if you didn't know that about me <laughs> and that's not the only one go lord I got more stuff over here we used to live in Korea before if you didn't know that um, I have another channel that has all my Korea content um, I haven't posted there in a while but it's called Lorena Travel Mundo but here it's all my stuff and now that we're in Japan of course I'm collecting all the Ghibli stuff too you know the anime Dragon Ball Z, My Hero Academia, yay! But yes, that is my little studio. I'm gonna take pictures of my son's ball. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much where I hang out, my chair. And for working this printer, I need a HP computer, which I don't own, so this is my husband's computer, and we just kind of keep it over here. Look at these ones that I'm working on. But of course, I'm still haven't figured out too well this this machine. So it just it leaves a lot of bubbles. And I don't like that. So I'm ordering another machine for laminating so that we can avoid this bubbling up thing. And of course, yesterday I was in a hurry. And I didn't place the map correctly as you can tell on here too there was another time I didn't do it I already have kind of like my settings already in place and the mat needs to start right here but of course it didn't I put it right up against over here and look at all the space and I print it all the way to this edge and this edge doesn't have any glue because it's where you take the film off and yeah that wasn't good so just turned on the machine. It starts to do its warm up. Circulating all the stuff. I'm going to go ahead and reprint this. I'm going to be able to use these, some of them anyways. So I'm going to use them as DTF stickers. But this one is not going to be able to use. I did get I was trying not to waste any space, but ugh, could have printed another one like right here too. But it's all trial and error, trial and error. So this is a DTF, um, UV DTF print, um, well, print <laughs> sticker, and pretty much, you know, we can stick it anywhere. So I'm trying to do more stickers, and this one is super cute. So these are the um, sheets that came with the machine. I'm sure they are not the best of quality because they came free. <laughs> um, they're huge, they're A3 size, but they're still smaller than the flatbed. So, let's see. But this is what I was telling you guys right here on this edge. I'll get out of the light so you can see. There's this part right here is just not, it's like, um, doesn't have any glue so that you can take this off. But then when you start taking this film off, this is super sticky. Sticky. And that's where, in this side, is where um, it prints. So then once you take this off, you put it on the printer and then it prints on here. Then you bring it over to the laminator and you laminate it. And then this film ends up on top of your design. Kind of like this sticker that was here. And then all you have to do is, of course, peel it off. And then, you know, like that. <laughs> and then once you peel it off, then 
you can go ahead and let's say if I wanted to stick it here I can go ahead and stick it right there I you know get it down and then I peel off that that um, that lamination off and then this just a sticker that stays right here for those of you that didn't understand about the TF printing <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and print this again so now we're gonna place this on here this time I lining it correctly and okay I usually like to come over here and check for me particularly the settings that I have it I make sure that this one right here is um, out and then it goes all the way down to the edge over there then after I have it aligned correctly and let's see Ugh. it's a little bit hard since this is so sticky like the glue on there you just come down here and you turn on the vacuum and like you can see it sucks it down and it's just like air push like pulls from these little holes and it holds your paper in place so that you can print so now these are my settings for printing this particular one you got your paper width so I have it at 320 420 then you have your output position which I have 00 which because I want it to be from the start and then you have your output size which is like the size of your um, of your design and that's pretty much it I mean everything else is something that I already said and you don't kind of I don't ever change like my printer it's all gonna stay the same you always want to be printing you know the highest quality the printer that you know it's this one right here and then you have your colors my colors are set to 80 percent max and then I have just this kind of normal settings down here I just kind of took it from the instructions and then I'm over here and of course you always want to have this selected white under any color pixel because you want to have the white underneath and I have this decrease pixel things here which was something that they told me to set up automatically you know and this right here this is an important one for me this is means that you're printing white and varnish you know I don't want varnish on this so I just want the white so I'm clicking OK now from there we're just gonna go file print in and print you want to make sure that you have selected your white color I'm sorry it keeps trying to focus <laughs> But you want to make sure you have selected the white plus color. So it'll print a layer of white and then it'll print a layer of color on top. If you select print color first, it literally prints a color, then it'll print like a white like at the end. So it's almost like if you wanted to put a sticker inside of something so that you can see it from the inside. I don't know how to explain it, but I can maybe do a video next time. So, here's my settings. And then just as simple as going and clicking print. It always tells me I'm outside my zone, but it's I'm not.
And then it does this thing. Share this file. Blah, blah, blah. And this is set up for automatic. So it will move the flatbed automatically and find its position, the correct position. There's a button on the back that you can switch for it to, um, it says uh, automatic. And if you don't, whenever we're printing cups though, you don't want the automatic on. You want to be able to move everything manual, which are the buttons right here. You can do it manually. But for now, we're just printing stickers and things like that. So automatic is the best option it does take a little bit for it to kind of go through and we'll see here it will start moving once it's done doing its thing over here and here we go Kind of moves like all the way back, and then it starts. And I like to sh kind of watch it sometimes up here, but you're not gonna be able to really see anything right now because it's printing the white. But we'll come back to it. And this is how they finally came out. They came out really good. Um, I'm sorry the video switched. I kind of forgot to take an actual video of it. This was my Instagram video, so <laughs> there you go. But um, here they are. They're, I put it on a cup and it looks so cute. I love it. I'm going to be selling these on my site, on my Etsy site. So if you like it, just let me know. I'll sell them. As UB DTF stickers. I received a package today from Ghibli. This was something that I wanted forever. It's super cute. It's from How's Moving Castle. And it's um, pretty much House Castle. And it has Calcifer inside his mouth and it lights up so cute I think this will look great on my desk the detail on this is amazing I am just like always so shocked on how good these things look and also it's really heavy so it's really good quality obviously it's official merch from the actual Ghibli store so it's nothing cheap <laughs> and it's it just looks great I love it I mean ugh. it's a dream to live here in Japan because I have access to all of this I have them all right around the corner with a Ghibli store so I can purchase these things anytime as you know if I was in the US it takes a lot more effort and money to get all of these things.
so as part of my business I am trying to get into doing more stickers and things like that so I'm creating these sticker packs um, they come usually with like probably 10 or 12 stickers um, I'm kind of trying to make them four by six and just make them a little bit bigger but these were like a test run Valentine's Day sticker pack I only made like two or three of these and it was kind of to see and to test out my new um, cutting machine which is I got the brothers scan and cut and I went ahead and printed these out on my brother's um, printer, which I'm actually going to replace because this printer, I realize, is not very good. It's very good with ink. It's just not very good quality print. I used to be my office printer, used to printing regular stuff. So now that I've moved to doing more crafts, I really need to focus on getting a new printer. But... I also have some sticker sheets and packs for things like um, the suit sprites, which I think will sell well at the market, which it's mainly what I'm focusing on right now, but I'm also going to start selling them online on my Digital Armundo um, shop on Etsy. And I am trying to create some round corners for these, but yeah, I got this little thing from alibaba express and it sucks <laughs> so um yeah i'm purchasing a better one from amazon but for now i had to kind of deal with this so we have an order and i'm going to pack it but look at this you guys <laughs> this closet is a mess i want to start organizing some of my products in here obviously and some of the stuff I don't use up here but oh my god I need to move this into the storage that way I can use utilize this whole space but my husband is his one his to-do list <laughs> hopefully this weekend maybe we'll get it done but that way I can store all of my toppers and stuff in different cabinets here but I do have some of these are used like for boxes and things like that. I need to like put them more up here. But here we are, the three toppers. These are my best sellers. They're so cute. These are on my other shop though, Shop Travel Mundo. And they're for any type of straws. This Bumblebee one fits the Stanley cups. I feel like that's mainly why people buy them. But um they're super cute and they protect your straw from stuff going in it so i sell this pack for like 14 dollars plus shipping not bad <laughs> the things you gotta do i wanted to show you guys one last thing before i ended this video this is me trying to print a new topper for my stanley cup kind of test kind of you know just to decorate my cup also but this is so cool I freaking love this machine because you can print anything except for on apparel but on anything else you can print it so here I am trying to print on this cup topper and please remember also if you are interested in one of these machines to be real careful with a UV light and look at this topper oh it's so cute it has my little name on it and everything it's i love it it was for valentine's day so i can have something to decorate my cup <laughs> i'm thinking about selling these also so stay tuned for that but it came out super cute Thank you guys for watching my first studio blog. I hope you guys like this. I will be doing more blogs on my studio, but also more on my equipment and things like that. So follow me, please, and comment below if you have any questions. Bye!